Hello everyone, you have been waiting and I am here to deliver the latest Master Yi build. I'm sorry it takes me so long to make these videos, however I like to make sure that I know what to build before I make a video about it. It feels more sincere and less clickbaity, right? It takes me time, but rest be assured that I do know what build that you guys should be looking at right now. There are two different builds that I'm going to be giving you guys first the build that I've been using with pretty decent success in Diamond 1 and Master Tier on the Korea server. So let's go ahead and get into it. First and foremost, what changed about Master Yi? I'm gonna TLDR this here for you guys. Q now gives you multiple hits. It has no cast time. Your W has no cast time. You lose flat AD on your E and you get a little bit more movement speed with Highlander. Gunju's Rage Blade no longer stacks with your double strike efficiently. Um, before it used to be auto, double strike, auto, double strike. Now it's auto, auto, double strike, auto, auto, double strike. And it's uh, every third on hit. And Conqueror was nerfed from 10% to 8%. So there's a lot of changes that happen to Master Yi. But even though it looks like a net power nerf, you have to remember that the no cast time on Alpha Strike is huge. There are so many situations where I would have died had I had cast time, but now without cast time, it's fine. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Calcep, where's the build? I came for the build. The build I've been using in solo queue is as followed. I am using the precision tree, and instead of conqueror, I'm using lethal tempo, and the other runes are the same, except I've been using the legend tenacity instead of alacrity. Um, you can really switch them based on whether or not you need them, but Tenacity is really, really powerful. And it just, it feels really good in most situations. You can use Alacrity to make up for the 8% attack speed nerf that we got uh, last patch. But I, I think Tenacity is probably the best, but it's really up to you. In the secondary tree, we are still bringing Domination. Uh, don't, please, like everybody brings Sudden Impact. Have you guys like looked at the numbers on that? Like it's terrible. What you want to do is you want to bring Eyeball Collection and you want to bring Ravenous Hunter. <clears throat> There's really no debating. Uh, that's just what you bring there. Uh, when it comes down to your minor runes, you want to get Attack Speed, uh, the Adaptive Force, and then the last row you can get whatever you want. Armor helps with the jungle, right? Uh, so yeah, that is the current runes. So not much has changed. We went to Lethal Tempo over Conqueror. And I already know what you're saying. Calcep, what about Hail of Blades? I'll get to that. That's that's the next build. Okay, this is my build that I'm using right now. Um, for skill up, the skill ups are still the same. Q, E, W, R, right? Uh, well, technically R is first, but. Uh, the build. So a lot of you guys want to know about the build. So right now, people are still building Gunsu's Rage Blade, and I just, I do not think that's right. If you guys have been to my sponsor, U.GG, use my link. You can actually see if you um, check out the bronze players and the silver players, they're building Blade of the Rune King instead of Gunju's Rage Blade. And that is actually, in my opinion, the right thing to do. I think right now Gunju's Rage Blade is not the way to go. Right now, um, in Diamond Plus in Korea server, the win rate is 43% as at the time of making this video. 43%. Uh, worldwide, the win rate is 46%, and they are all building Gunju's Rage Blade. Take my word on it, if you try Blade and Rune King, you will enjoy it. Uh, the extra movement speed, it procs lethal tempo, you get that life steal when you're splitting. Very, very good. Highly recommend that you guys try it. It is what it is. All right, after you get Blade and Rune King, we need to discuss the third item. So this is where it gets really cool, because now you have choices. So before you would get Blood Razor, uh, Gunzu's into Death Dance. Now you get Blood Razor into Blade of the Rune King. And then you have your multiple choice here. We have Wit's End for high magic comps or where you need to sustain. We have Death Dance for comps where they have high burst and it's like mostly physical and you need to sustain. And then we have Spear of Shoujin for general gameplay where you need to just do damage, a little bit of tankiness, doesn't really matter. And then you have Gunzu's Rage Blade where you just need to do damage. Gunzu's is still super cost efficient. It's a, it's an okay item. I don't like relying on the stacking of it, but you can definitely use it if you want to. 
Now for your fourth, fifth, and sixth item, you can kind of take some of those items there and build them later, or you can get a Guardian Angel, uh, Starag's Gauge, totally up to you. So that is the build. Here we go, because people are gonna skip to this section of the video. Let's put it up. Runes? Items. We're gonna hold this for five seconds so you can pause the video. <laughs> okay, next. We have a build that is uh, decently popular, I guess. Um, this one is the Warrior Crypt build. Uh, I've been seeing Night Blue 3 use it quite a bit. If you guys remember when the new Yi first came out, <laughs> I've been playing the Warrior CDR Crypt build for a while and I lost like all my games. So this isn't a build that I personally recommend, but it's a popular enough build that I feel that we should talk about it. Um, so this build requires you to go Hail of Blades as your first tree. And then in your second tree, you're running uh, Precision. And what you wanna build on this build is you want to go Warrior into Spear of Shojin, into like an Infinity Edge, into like a Phantom Dancer or a Shiv. So, uh, it's basically, you just try to do as much damage as you can and get that CDR. You can also get a Nezen Trever as well. Um, I'm not too, like, I'm not too on to this build. So, you know, I don't really know what to say about it. I really think the Blade and Ranking build is just better at the moment. But if you want to go, like, damage or crit, definitely you can look at that build as well. Okay, so with that said, guys, I actually do not think that Mastery is terrible this patch. You can see that his win rates across the board has fallen, but I think that's primarily because people are still building Ginzu's Rageblade, and they haven't gotten used to the no-cast time alpha. If I'm playing, right now I'm playing Master Yi with Master Tier Korean players, and we also have Night Blue playing Master Yi and Challenger NA, then I think that he's not bad enough that you should quit him if you're in like gold, right? Um, if you're in gold, you could definitely use Master Yi to carry yourself out. So don't be too discouraged right now if you think Master Yi's not that good this patch. He still has like a 50% ban rate in silver and he's picked quite a bit. Really, really, he's not bad. Follow my builds and you will be good to go. If you still find yourself losing, you just need to change your play style a bit. If you go the crit build, you probably want a team fight. If you go the other build, then you probably want to focus more on objectives and some split pushing, and then do a little bit more team fighting. Without Ginzu's Rage Blade, we're doing a whole lot less split pushing. So, but we could still get the dragons and stuff, just less solo barons. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'll try to address them in a future video. I know you guys have been waiting for this build video, so I've been trying to get it out. Uh, but as I said, I don't like to release build videos without at least practicing for like two or three weeks. That way I can give you guys the best build possible. So anyway, enjoy the video. Wait, we just had the video. Anyway, enjoy. Anyway, have fun in solo queue. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any comments or anything like that. And I'll see you guys later.